So if the world is feeling overwhelming or like there's nothing you can do or that there's no way out or that we've gone too far, that climate change, that there's some sort of apocalyptic future, if that's feeling like what your reality is, I'd like to let you know that there is a huge culture and movement that is being created that is in love, that is providing opportunities and solutions for humanity. Uh, my name is Leela Starr, and I consider myself a whole systems visionary and an architect of a new culture. And Collective Legacy called me as a reunion. It called me as a prophecy of, of a Rainbow Warrior Peace Tribe uniting. And I was really excited to come and collaborate, connect, and key in with major players that are laying the foundational systems for um, a new paradigm, some are calling it a new earth, but a way of being in which we are truly serving a thriving humanity and a healthy planet. And so coming here, I knew that there would be key players and key projects to co-create with. And so we're, gr we're grounding a larger network and grid um, of empowerment and giving other people opportunities and choices in this world. Um, to truly be healthy, abundant, and happy. So there's there's a few things I'm really passionate about, and one of them is sustainable communities. So living and working together in a way that we're really supported, and that we're, all of our needs are met, and that the expression of our human creativity and genius is is accessed and empowered and supported. Um, living in a way in which we're, we're being sustainable and in harmony with nature and so coming together in community in a way where we don't have to eat do everything we can all we can all share in a garden and we can each bring our unique skill sets to the table to serve the collective whole so I'm really passionate about helping create these spaces and also setting up the regenerative systems the economics and the decision making and the culture, what it really takes from a whole systems perspective for a community to thrive in a new way beyond the culture of separation, um, beyond the cookie cutter, beyond the, the kind of any town USA feeling that we're getting where people are really disconnected. Um, so it's, it's an opposite that of that. And that's so intentional communities is a big one. I'm really passionate about holistic healthcare. I'm really passionate about helping people understand that there's other alternatives to pharma, to pharmaceuticals, and a lot of that is through lifestyle wellness um, and whole being. I'm really um, passionate about exalting the youth that are coming today that are really empowered to make a difference on the planet and helping them share their gifts and giving them the support tools and the empowerment and holding the youth like the Earth Guardians in a way that their message is the message that, that launches a greater movement for humanity because if it, it's coming from the youth, they, they are the next generation. Um, so I'm really passionate about, about supporting the youth as well. Freedom culture means to me that there is a community, a safe space, a supported safe space for a human to feel seen and feel loved and to feel supported and to feel empowered to shine their unique gifts um, to be um, celebrated for, for diversity um, and to to empower a culture where each being is sovereign unto oneself so whole and inter independent but then being able to be interdependent and co-creative within community and so we're not we're not creating top-down hierarchical models of inequality we're creating models of equality for each other and in that it's, it's acceptance it's inclusivity it's compassion it's love and holding a human in that container where their gifts just shine and their genius shines and many humans then would not be doing the jobs they're doing right now and so it's kind of a whole system culture of um, connectivity and, and heart-centered living so if the world is feeling overwhelming or like there's nothing you can do or that there's no way out or that we've gone too far 
that climate change, that there's some sort of apocalyptic future, if that's feeling like what your reality is, I'd like to let you know that there is a huge culture and movement that is being created that is in love, that is providing opportunities and solutions for humanity and that we actually have all of the technology and cultural and new governance and economic systems for a thriving humanity and to feel to hmm, I would say to begin to expose yourself and and tune in and ask where you can find positive uplifting news or conscious community or find places where um, organic farming is being celebrated or, or a new, new kind of spiritual culture to, to tune into and know that there's actually a whole nother rising system on the planet and it's real and it's strong and it's growing every day and it's in every corner of the world. And when you're looking at your current reflection of reality, maybe you go outside and, and you see a lot of pain and suffering, know that every moment until now has, has been a perfection in the human evolution of, of a human learning how to be love. And to just take a moment and breathe into it, accept it, and know that we're evolving into a culture of more love and more freedom and peace. And just trust in that and, and, and trust in that knowing um, and you'll start to be shown and ask to be shown, ask to be shown from your inner guidance, from your inner intuition, say, help me align with those experiences and people and communities that will show me a positive loving world because it is here now and it exists and it is growing.